I am anticipating selling this 12 inch ATS or advanced telescope systems tripod portable pier and uh, I thought along with pictures in the ad <coughs> it'd be nice if there was a link that I could send to the serious prospective buyer that would uh, show more uh, than just pictures some close-ups and some other things that I've done so that's what I'm doing here the height from the very top plate of this uh, portable pier to the ground straight down as you see here is approximately 39 and 1 8 inches some time ago I wanted to allow this tripod to be lowered in height so I made these up and I, I did a video on it these will also be included in the sale they're very easy to put on no modifications to the tripod at all all you'll need is a three-quarter inch uh, box wrench which is I prefer over an open end and then a three-eighths inch Allen socket uh, wrench by doing this you will lower it almost five inches it'll go from 39 and 1 8 as you see here down to 34 and a quarter from the top straight down to the ground let's see what that looks like and there you have it guys I haven't changed the position of the camera but I just uh, put the extensions in each of the three legs while we're at it you see a multitude of holes this has been drilled for three different astrophysics flat surface adapters here you see the 1600 flat surface adapter and those are through holes meaning they're not tapped you would need to have a uh, socketed cap screw that goes through and then a nut put on the underside of this top plate just as a side note <clears throat> here you see the uh, ATS advanced telescope systems logo I always considered that the north leg and so the north on all these adapters are going to be to this side now you see the 1100 adapter in here and the beauty of this is I had it designed to where since um, and I no longer have the 1100 but this could be through bolted remain permanent the 1100 I was able to come through here with the bolts to tighten everything down so I never would have to take this off this could this has actually tapped holes so you would just so each hole in this top plate is threaded is tapped so you would just come in here with the uh, socketed cap screw turn it on there you don't have to thread it from the bottom or put a nut on the bottom side so if I was going from the 1100 to the 1600 it's just a matter of taking these um, eight bolts out eight socketed cap screws taking them out and pulling the 1100 flat surface adapter and now I'm with the 1600 I want to use the 1100 put this on bolt it on and you're good to go so that's the beauty of how I had had this uh, designed and following the same thought process this is for the uh, Mach 1 or Mach 2 astrophysics mount and you can see I've got it forward to the north side that's so that almost at any latitude your counterweight shaft would not interfere with your counterweights on it so I shifted it to the north side of this pier and again these are threaded so the 1600 remains if you want the 1100 just bolt it on when you're done take it off you want the Mach 1 or Mach 2 you bolt that on you're done you pull it off it's that simple so now this is the south side of, <clears throat> of the pier um, the advanced telescope systems logo is opposite of this side and it came with what I thought was a rather anemic handle and so I elected to put a much heavier one on here you can see that I used one of the original holes here here's the other original hole and then I drilled a new one to put this big beefy 
heavy duty handle. I also have one on the other side which would be um, around this way on the uh, which would be like the northeast side of the uh, tripod. And here we are looking at the uh, top area of the body of the tripod. The paint. And we see that there is a, like a nick right here. And then on the south side, you can see where a little bit of paint is scraped here. Now I'm assuming that came about from this adapter that I made that I would anchor here so that I could put my Astrophysics CP4 or CP5 and hang it off here. So had I known it was going to abrade that a little bit, scuff it, I would have used some very thin rubber membrane material that I have. Obviously the top has multiple holes and there are some scuffs up here. So it isn't perfect but it's pretty damn good. The rest of the body, lower than what I showed, is in excellent shape. No issues. Now this is the north leg. <clears throat> this would be the southwest leg. And there are, there's a neck there, a little neck and a nick there. This would be the southeast leg. And we have, you can see right here, just a tiny little nick right there. Now I much prefer these rubber feet that you see on here, but also included would be these nylon feet that you can take off and replace should you want to use those. So those do come with this. Now you might be asking yourself, <clears throat> what are these hooks that I've uh, put on down towards the base of the feet? And these are all stainless fasteners and that part is stainless here you see the opposite side oversized washer nylock nut and then to cap that off to keep it smooth some acorn nuts now those are so that when you close the tripod legs you're able to hook all three together so they stay closed when you're carrying it and they don't flop open and here we have the stock handles that it came with that um, I believe it's half inch 13 uh, threaded in and they're excellent nice grip easy no tools required and again if you're using my uh, thing that I made to lower the tripod you would attach with the bolt and uh, acorn nut here on this piece so that when you're actually done you can flip it up anchor it like normal and keep that piece on you still retain 
when you're putting it when you're when you're folding the tripod open and attaching the leg you still use this even with the extension so that's the beauty of this once you're out in the field <clears throat> you don't have to worry about having tools to attach the leg to the turnbuckle also included in the sale are these uh, coupling nuts stainless steel <clears throat> stainless steel set screw which has been loctited in and what this is for is when you take the handle out at the end of your observing session because <clears throat> I always had like a toolbox of astronomical stuff that when I went somewhere I had all my stuff in there and so what this allows you to do is thread this on the end of the hand of the uh, this handle this locking handle and so that way when it's in the toolbox you lessen any chance of the threads getting damaged on this handle so the next thing I want to do is address these turnbuckles and the way they work is and I haven't used these in such a long time but you let me see which way I got to turn that I don't even know there you go so you would turn this and you can see it will cause this gap causing the leg to go out so that you can lower and each leg is like this so that you can adjust the height of this tripod now I am personally not a big fan of these um, I used them a little bit in the beginning and then I came up with a better way of doing it because sometimes I get my arthritis in my hands and it's just <clears throat> I'd just rather do this other way but letting you know that you can use these but I'm going to show you the way I adjusted the levelness of the tripod so what I did is I shimmed underneath these feet so here you see a aluminum plate quarter inch thick aluminum plate that's on the ground for stability in all three legs and then I would just put shims underneath here so much easier to do because this way you don't have to worry about the next time you set up having to readjust these turnbuckles and here you see what I had I've got a 16th inch thick piece of aluminum an eighth inch thick piece of aluminum and a 3 16th thick piece of aluminum and using <clears throat> I have multiple pieces of each so depending on what I needed to do I would shim it up using whatever thickness required then if I had to tweak it I would use the very thin 16th inch aluminum and so by putting these under the feet it was so much easier to do this than screw around with the turnbuckle and when you're done at the end of the evening you just pick these up I put them in the box that I have for those and you're done now it does come with these nice rubber bumpers all the way around and then you can see the small one under each turnbuckle now for whatever reason the one on the southwest leg is missing just notice that now on the bottom of the tripod I replaced the bolt that was in the bottom and used the socketed cap screw and then just use this eye bolt put that on like you see here because what I would do is hang a red light that shone down on the ground and it would the light would spread out so that way it would illuminate the legs so that you wouldn't bump into those in the dark so there you have it guys a tour of this uh, 12 inch ATS portable pier and so I think by doing this video you can explain a lot more and show things in more depth than just plain pictures in a um, ad it's trying to sell this so some pictures combi combined with description and this video should bring it all together for the prospective buyer of this tripod.